You're watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, replacing missing teeth with mini dental implants. According to my first guest, no more dentures. He says you can walk into his office without teeth and walk out with a fixed set of teeth. And we're talking uh, with an expert on the topic, Dr. Shatkin. Dr. Shatkin, welcome to the program. Good morning, Randy. How are you? Okay, so that's all true, what I just said. Absolutely. Is that right? Absolutely. We do this every day. So tell me about your practice. For people that don't know you, yeah. who's your typical patient and what are the different procedures you offer? It could be anybody. It could be uh, you know, a fireman. It could be a, a teacher. It could be somebody who's on TV, for example. Okay. Uh, uh, I've had, I've had uh, patients who've been sportscasters that have had dentures for many years and they're worried about them slipping while they're talking. We have uh, ministers and rabbis that come in for this type of thing. So really anybody from all walks of life can benefit from mini implants, especially if they suffer from loose or ill-fitting dentures. Now people need to know, and you know, this is a real interview, I'm not trying to endorse you on this show, but dentists from all over the country know who you are. I mean, well, you're the guy that kind of pioneered and made mini implants like a legitimate way to replace missing teeth. Well, that's nice of you. Is to there say, truth to that's that? That's nice of you to say, Randy. I, I do pride myself in the fact that I kind of brought mini implants to the, pu to the public and to the dentist. But you published a study. Yes. Tell me about that. Um, I published several studies, but the, the latest one was a 12-year study of 5,600 mini dental implants. It was published in a peer-reviewed dental journal, and we had excellent success. And, you know, there's been, there's been skeptics out there as you know, um, conventional implantologists who never really believed in mini implants, and we've, we've changed that. So now it's accepted. Now yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a way to replace it's, it's missing It's FDA teeth. accepted. It's accepted by the American Dental Association. And, um, and, you know, we've got thousands of dentists around the country doing this so every day. So people that are wearing dentures, you believe that all of them should be attached to something? Like implants? It would be great if everyone out there that had dentures had mini implants to support okay. them because they would no longer have to use the glue, they wouldn't have to use the powder, they wouldn't be worrying about their dentures falling out when their grandchild runs up and gives them a big hug, you know, because that stuff happens and it's embarrassing for them. And, and I truly would love every patient that has dentures out there to have mini implants. It may not be realistic, but it would be, uh, it will change people's lives for forever. Are there a lot of people with dentures like where you are like within an hour of your practice? O over 50 million Americans have Is dentures. That right? Yeah. Uh, I've got a large patient pool of dent like denture tens of wares. thousands of people maybe oh, yeah. with an upper or lower denture. Absolutely. If it's so good why aren't they all doing it? I don't think they all know about it and that's kind of why I, I, I like teaching people about the procedure and and being on shows like this where we can educate the consumer about what's available. I think a lot of elderly denture patients or even younger denture patients aren't aware that these options exist. Because they don't go to the dentist? Well, you know, when you have dentures made, you think you're good for 5, 10, 15 years and you stop going to the dentist because you have all your teeth out. So, okay. you know, there's no reason to go to the dentist in their mind, right? <laughs> all right? Although they should, they should go get their dentures checked, they should have their, uh, their gums checked, to make sure they don't have any oral cancer. There's all kinds of reasons why they should still go to the dentist, but uh, a lot of people stop and they go for 10 years without going and they're not aware of different amazing options that are out there. What about pain? It seems, I mean, it seems painful. The mini, putting, the in, mini implant procedure is virtually painless. Okay. Uh, the procedure is done in about an hour. There's no cutting, there's no stitches, there's no surgery. Uh, they get the little, we make a little tiny pinhole in the gum and we thread these miniature implants into the bone and you stabilize the denture the same visit and they go home and they can eat a meal that evening. And usually Tylenol or Motrin is all they need. Now we're talking about mini implants. Okay. Now with traditional implants, it's a much more involved procedure. It can take up to a year to complete. It's surgery. They have to make incisions in the gums. They have to reflect the tissue. Uh, oftentimes they have to put bone grafts into the sinus to lift the sinus membrane. Uh, sometimes they have to reposition the nerve, which is not something a lot of people want to sign up for. You know, Randy, it's, it's involved surgery. Um, and with mini implants, we don't do any of that. It's simple. So they work. I mean, you could bite into what? Anything you eat. The only thing we tell patients is not to use them as tools, like you know, <laughs> opening beer bottles and things like that. I mean, we don't recommend that. But you can use your teeth to do everything you normally do as far as function, eating steaks, corn on the cob, apples whatever you want to eat. And denture wearers typically can't do that? Well, denture wearers have a tough time biting into an ear of corn or taking a bite out of an apple because they move. 
Mm -hmm. and, um, and, and when they eat steak, they have to cut their pieces up into small pieces so that they can chew it and masticate their foods. And, um, and with the mini implants, stabilized dentures, or even a, a permanent set of teeth, which we'll talk about in a little bit, they can eat virtually anything they want. They can go out to meals. They can uh, speak in public and not worrying about their teeth moving around. Um, you know, we have a lot of teachers, older teachers, younger teachers that have lost teeth. I even had a lady who was lost all her upper teeth at 25 years old because she grew up in wow. a community with well water and the teeth got decayed very easily. And she had a denture from age 25 to 35. And it was devastating. Imagine being 25 years old and losing all your yeah. upper teeth. I mean, you have children, I have children. Yeah. I can't even imagine. I've got 20 year old kids. I can't imagine them losing their teeth at that age. So um, we put, 12 mini implants in and cemented a permanent bridge. Like a full arch of teeth. A full arch of teeth in two hours. And we did that 12 years ago on this one particular lady that I'm talking about. And I saw her recently and she still has them in and she functions and she How loves How do they look? Them. Do they look real? Amazing. Oh yeah. Porcelain, zirconia, bridge work. It looks just like natural teeth. You know, and Sometimes the, better. <laughs> so how old can you be to do this? Because isn't it true that if you've been wearing dentures like 30 years, you don't have enough bone? Well, you'd be surprised, Randy. We actually can place these mini implants in people with very little bone. People do lose bone over the years, but the nice thing about mini implants is you don't need very much bone. So we're able to find the bone and fit these little mini implants in areas where even conventional implants may not be an option. Even if they okay. had bone grafts and sinus lifts and all that surgery, they still might not have enough uh, bone to put those larger old style implants in and the mini implants we can use on almost anybody. What, what's your oldest patient that you've had that's Randy, that's believe it or not, that? I did this on a 92-year-old not too long 92. ago. Why would a 92-year-old want to do they this? They want to eat and smile and speak just like everyone else in, at okay. any age. And, and this particular one is in tremendous health and good shape and drives herself all around town. So, you know, I don't look at age as a, a limit. So 90-year-olds can do this? Absolutely. Aren't they more likely to fall out? No, is absolutely that right? not. Statistically, scientifically? No, the success rates are equal. It doesn't matter how old you are, as long as you're of pretty decent health. You know, okay. uh, even if you're on a bunch of medications, as long as you're of pretty decent health, and we can tell from a good set of x-rays and, and, and models, we can tell what the bone quality is. We pride ourselves on being there for our patients. From the moment they walk in the door to the procedure itself and then to the moment they leave and continuing on for follow-up care afterwards, we want to provide the best possible service to our patients. When they come to me and I try to find out what they're here for, I want to address their concerns. I want them to leave our office happy. I want them to be satisfied with the work they had done. Please call me at 839-1700. You can find us on the web at shatkinmdi.com. Why are you so wrapped up in, in dental implants? Well, I like dental implants. I like mini dental implants especially because it changes people's lives every day. Okay. And, and we can literally take people who suffer from loose dentures or missing teeth and in one or two visits, give them their life back. Give them their smile back. <laughs> Good. And you say you get hugs from patients. Absolutely. You don't get a hug when you do a, a four-rooted root canal on a patient, that's for sure. <laughs> okay. But when you put four mini implants in and stabilize their lower denture and they come back a week later and they're like, Dr. Shatkin, you don't know what you've done for me. You've given me a reason to smile. You let, I can eat whatever I want. And it, it's, it changes their life and they love it. And they will give you a hug. They'll send you holiday cards. You know, they, make, they, they feel like you've made a huge impact on their life. Now you brought some models. What, what, uh, what are we looking at here? Yeah, I've got a few different sets of models. And, and this is what we use to explain the procedure to a patient. Because you can talk to patients, but it's important for them to see what we're talking about. And so this is a, a lower denture model where we put four little mini implants in and they've got little balls i don't know if you can see the little yeah. balls on top of them and inside the denture we attach these o-ring housings and the dentures then snap just snap on Let me right take a look on. at this interesting so yeah so and it just comes in and out it comes in and out they can take it out after meals and rinse their teeth what do you call this you call it a snap in snap out denture well it's an it's a mini implant retained denture yes mini implant retained denture is that your most popular the, right low, the lower denture seems to be what people suffer from the most with okay. their old dentures moving around and, and slipping and sliding and they have pain, they have discomfort. So stabilizing a lower denture is usually the first thing a, a denture wearer would want to do. 
But once they have the lower denture stabilized, they want to do the upper too because they can't believe what it's done for them. So, okay. some, so sometimes we do the upper and lower at the same time. Sometimes we do just the lower one first and then they come back and they want to do the upper. What's the next level up? So on the upper denture, what's really nice is you can remove that palate from the roof of the mouth. Dentures, right. Denture wearers don't like the roof of the mouth being covered because it inhibits their speech. Sometimes they have a gag reflex. They can't taste the hot and cold liquids on the roof of their mouth like you and I can. And so when you cover that up, you lose taste buds, all that stuff. So we can open that up by just taking out the plastic on the roof of the mouth and putting six mini implants in on the upper. And then they can snap that denture into place and it's very secure, but they no longer have to have the roof of the mouth covered. Okay. So what about fixed that don't come in and out? You're talking about permanent teeth. Yeah. And uh, that's a phenomenal option for patients that wear dentures because you can go from literally having dentures that fall out of their mouth to having permanent, a permanent set of teeth in their mouth that stay in all the time, just like they did when they were 20 years old. And um, this is an example of one of the procedures we do with a, a fixed roundhouse. We call this fix on six. We put six, a minimum of six, sometimes eight mini implants in, but this is made out of zirconia. It's, a, it's strong like diamonds. It's, it's porcelain, but it's zirconia material. You can hear it, it's very solid. Yeah. You, you could take a hammer to this and it wouldn't break, <laughs> honestly. These are, these are very, very strong, stronger than your own natural teeth, actually. And we can put these implants in and then place the bridge in where it stays in all the time. The patients don't take it out. So it's a little bit more to have the fixed set of teeth. It is a little more, but it's less than half the cost of those other chains that are out there doing fixed set of teeth. Like traditional implants are that much more? Right, these are about half. The mini okay. implants are about half the cost of the old style traditional implants, and they work equally or better. Well, I got a great story to tell you about a, a, a gentleman who came to see me about two years ago. His daughter was getting married in four weeks, okay. and he wanted to have permanent teeth because he can't eat with his dentures. They gag him. He, he has to take his dentures out, actually, to eat. And he wanted to have the permanent teeth done. And in two visits, within two weeks before the wedding, we put 12 implants in, cemented a full set of teeth on his upper jaw, and he went to the wedding and ate everything, and he was flabbergasted. He could not believe what we did for his, his self-esteem. And uh, to this day, he, every time he comes in for his cleanings, he's like, <laughs> you changed my life. So they brush them and uh, brush, just like rinse, regular floss. teeth? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. So how do they take care of them? Just uh, they see dentists like every six months? Yeah, they come. Well, we recommend every three or four months to come okay. back to the dentist, have their implants checked about once a year. We'll take x-rays and just confirm that everything is perfect, which it almost always is. And um, I, I got this one story about uh, that I'd like to tell you about um, a lady who... Uh, who I mentioned earlier that her, her four-year-old grandson ran up to her, went into her house and ran up to her and jumped in her arms and her teeth fell out of her mouth. And you can imagine a four-year-old not knowing what these things are laying on the ground. Her dentures wow. fell out of her mouth. She was so embarrassed. She came to me the next day. She said, Dr. Shatkin, I've heard you on TV. I've been wanting to come see you, but this is what got me to actually do it. I was so embarrassed to have to explain to my four-year-old grandson why I'm missing my teeth. And I never want that to happen again. And so she, I, I talked to her about the option of putting the implants in with an overdenture, like we talked about an upper denture. And she said, no, can't you give me something permanent? I don't ever want to take these things out. And so I talked to her about the uh, fixed on six option, the fixed bridge work, and we did that for her. And she just is so grateful. Are there things that they have to stay away from? So for example, like broccoli al dente or a no none, of, none or... of that the only thing we recommend and it goes the same with even with fixed crown and bridge work on natural dentition is we say avoid those things like popcorn that has little shells that can get stuck under the bridge work or or um or peanuts and things like that because you can get little pieces under there and that can be difficult to clean out but other than that they can pretty much eat anything they want do you hear stories i mean do they ever tell you like i could eat this doctor or oh yeah time? yeah people uh Especially, you know, Buffalo, we have, you know, four seasons. So their favorite time of the year is when corn on the cob is in season. And they can get, uh, you know, homegrown corn and eat right off the ear where they used to have to cut the corn off the cob, you know, to eat it. Now, what about, now let's talk about the people that are trying to avoid false teeth. Their mouth, 
I, I guess they're in bad shape, right? right? It hurts when they eat. Isn't it true, though, if their gums are too bad, can they still get this or they cannot? They can. They can Interesting. do Interesting. 98% of the patients that come in are candidates for mini implants. So there's a very... But if their gums are bad, how do they do it? Well, we, we, we take care of the gums. If they, if they still have teeth in their mouth, we have to take the bad teeth out, clean up any infection that's there. But we can take the teeth out, actually, Randy, and put the implants right in the same day. So we can extract teeth. So that's true. Same day. Oh, yeah. True. We can take teeth out, put implants in, and they can leave with teeth that day, replacing those teeth. They'll be temporary teeth for a couple of weeks, and then they'll get their permanent ones. But they're still, they come in and they leave with teeth. These don't look like traditional dentures or old dentures? I mean, no. did, I mean, is there a cosmetic component? The, the, the ones that we're talking about with the fixed applications, those are zirconia and porcelain. So they look very, very natural. How important is a smile, in your opinion? Oh, You're a dentist, so you probably think it's important. Ever since I was a kid, before I even decided to become a dentist, I always felt that the smile was very important. And I actually had a girlfriend in ninth grade who had very crooked teeth. And I, I talked to my dad, and he hooked her up with an orthodontist to straighten them because it was bothersome to me, you know, as a young person. <laughs> okay. And I didn't even think of any, no idea that I was going to become a dentist. You know, so I think first impressions are really important in life. And when you first meet someone, you look at them and you assess them right away. Okay. You know, you go through this, what is this person? What's a, and smile is one of the first things you see on somebody. If they're missing a tooth or they have crooked overlap teeth or stained teeth, you know, that's, that's a, that makes an impact. And so um, it's extremely important. Now you're always, uh, you're on the local news. I mean, you're, you're almost a local celebrity where you are, oh, from what I understand. I mean, because you're on the news a lot. Is that right? I am. What are uh, your topics? You talk about everything or just mostly no, we talk about replacing everything. missing teeth? No, you know, I was the first one in Western New York to do porcelain veneers uh, 25 years ago when I graduated from dental school. I went to the University of the Pacific in San Francisco, and, and one of the reasons I came out to California for dental school is because they weren't teaching that stuff out east. Veneers? Veneers okay. and implants and, and all that stuff. And so um, when I brought that back to Buffalo, I was the first one in Western New York doing veneers, porcelain veneers, and one of the early ones doing implants. So, uh, and I did the conventional old style implants for 15 years. And, and about 14 years ago, I switched. I made this switch to the mini implants back in 1999. So you used to do regular implants? Oh yeah, my dad and I did them for, like I said, 14 years together. And mini implants, I mean, you're sold on mini implants. You say they work. Absolutely. I would do it on my, I, I, I've done them on my wife, I've done them on my mother, and I've done them on my father. I, I mean, I do them on my immediate family members. And, I'll, and, and, thousands and they're about 50 other. to 70% less than? Yeah, they're less than half the cost. And I always say, Randy, it's five times less. They're less invasive, there's less surgery, they're less time consuming, they're less uh, pain afterwards, and they're less expensive. Okay. It's five times less. Tell me this. Okay, so somebody watching this, maybe they saw you on the news or whatever, and they're missing teeth or they're wearing a denture or partial or whatever. Right. What do they always want to know? Because they, are, are they still skeptical on that consultation? Or what do they want to know? Most, what do they ask? I'll be honest with you. Most of my patients that come in for this procedure are already aware of what they're coming in for because they've been educated either through our, you know, interviews like this one yeah. or through um, our website or, or what they've heard from other patients who've been satisfied. And when they come in, they just really want to know what's involved, how much is it going to cost, and when can I do it? What's the fastest turnaround you've, you've had recent times from the time of their consultation? Well, I've had people, if I have time on my schedule, which is rare, but sure. I've had people come in one day where, and, and I've had a cancellation, I've been able to take care of them that day. But most of the time, we schedule them within a couple of weeks. So two, two appointments. They, they go there, second appointment, they walk out there with teeth. Right. We might take some impressions at their first appointment, at their consultation, just to get the, the impressions done and everything. And then they can come back the next time and get their teeth. So when I hear things like same-day teeth or teeth in the, you know, an hour, you call yeah. it, I think, in an hour. That, that, yeah, that's hour. not just an exaggeration. No, it's the truth. For you, it's real. It's absolutely real. We do it every day of the week. And... Uh, Almost every single patient is just so thrilled when they leave our office that they have teeth. Now, one of the dentists from Extreme, because your, your brother works right there with you yes. 
as a plastic surgeon, board certified plastic surgeon. Your father was a plastic surgeon and a dentist. And we have a fully accredited ambulatory surgery okay. center, so all the surgery can be done right in house. Okay, well, here's what I wanted to ask you. Yeah. This guy that used to be on Extreme Makeover, the show, yeah. the dentist, he said, Randy, of all the things we did to change these people's appearance, yes. to make them look younger, the smile was always the thing that they said that made the biggest impact. I think it does. Do you believe that? I think when people look in the mirror and they brush their teeth in the morning and they smile, that's what they see. Okay. And, and they, they can take on the day knowing that they're smiling and they're happy. And you know, people who smile more are happier, right? Okay, agree with that. If you smile, you display happiness and, and your friends think you're happier and it's just you have a brighter outlook on life. Are there a lot of people that, that hate their smile? Oh, yeah. That are miserable that, that are, you see? Oh, yeah. They're embarrassed to really? smile. They sit in my chair and they don't even want to show me their teeth. Really? Yeah, you know, they're like, I don't want to show you, Doc. It's really upsetting, you know? And I always try to make them feel comfortable. I say, look, I've seen everything. I've seen everything. Your teeth are not as bad as people I've seen, I promise you. Do they always think theirs is one of the worst? Oh, yeah. They always think they're the worst. Is it because people that have bad teeth, they just walk around your city not smiling? I don't know about it. Like I think it's the same in every city. I don't think Buffalo is any different. No, but than I mean, else. people just with bad teeth. Because I, look, I looked at some of those photos, and I've yeah. never seen teeth that bad. Yeah, <laughs> but it's just because I guess these people don't smile. They don't smile much, and and it's sad. It's really sad for them because people should smile. You know, it's it's part of being happy. Is this true that about thirty to fifty dentists a month get on a plane and fly? to learn how to do these mini implants yeah, for you. We, we, have, we have 40 to 50 almost every month that come to Buffalo. Why the popularity? Just because it's the new trend in dentistry, meaning it's a way to no more patchwork? You well, get teeth back? Yeah, you get, you get teeth back quickly, affordably, without discomfort. I mean, what's the most, let me ask you a question. What, what <laughs> would keep you from going to the dentist if you're a, just a lay person? Well, I just don't like going to the dentist. You don't right. like going. Yeah, why why don't you like to it go? It seems around? like it hurts and the, you know, just the whole exactly. thing. Exactly. So if we can offer you something. It's uncomfortable. If we can offer you something that's painless. Virtually painless. Sure. And, and it's but they a, don't complain about pain. Right. That's they what don't complain say. about pain. Okay. Okay. My patients have the procedure and they usually take a Motrin or Tylenol that evening. And by the next morning, they wake up with no pain. Okay. So there's really virtually painless is a good, a good answer. Um, but what keeps patients from going to the dentist? Number one, they're worried about pain. Number two, they worry about the cost. And if we can eliminate the pain and reduce the cost, then you've eliminated those fears. And so many implants do both of those. Now, we've talked a lot about denture wears, but anybody missing teeth, people that are missing one tooth or they have old bridge work, right. you support this stuff with yes. mini implants? I developed the procedure and I have a patent on the mini implant procedure to replace single teeth. And we've been doing this since 2002. How are they holding up? Amazing, 98% success over 12 years. Okay. Amazing, the results are as good or better than conventional implants. Is this the future of dentistry? I Where think every so. tooth that's put in is supported by some kind of an implant? I think so, yeah, yeah, I think so. And it's not even the future, it's here. Okay. It's here today, and um, if, if anybody's missing a tooth, we rarely do bridge work anymore, where Isn't we right? crown the teeth on either side. In your practice? Yeah, in my practice. And a lot of uh, the thousands of dentists that I've taught, they do the same thing. We recommend replacing that missing tooth with a mini implant and a permanent crown. Dentists will watch this show. What do you want them to know about what you're doing? Well, I want them to get involved because the, the mini implants are not just a great solution for your patients, it's gonna change the way you practice dentistry. It's gonna make you feel good about going to work every day because you're offering something really life-changing. So I understand this. So you put the implant in, kind of poke it through the gums, yeah. right? And what, the, your bone just kind of grabs onto it, yeah, grows that's a, onto that, it? That's a great point. And I think we should, we should talk a little bit about the difference between the conventional old style implants and the new mini implants and how, why the they work. The big difference? There's, there's a significant difference in the way they work. Okay. See, with, with the older style implant, you make, a, you make a flap and you make a big hole in the gum, in the bone. We open that up and put the post in and stitch it up and let it heal. And that typically takes anywhere from three to six months for that bone to grow around the implant. Okay. With a mini implant, we make a hole that's half the size of the actual screw. It's only a 1.2 millimeter tiny little hole that we put in the gum and through the, into the bone, and then we thread that mini implant into the bone, and it anchors into the bone immediately. We don't have to wait for bone healing. 
And, and that's why mini implants work. Interesting. And that's why they work so well. So if somebody's watching this, okay, so they have a loose fitting denture or whatever, they could go in without teeth. And we said at the top of the show, they could walk out with teeth. Absolutely. Is that right? Yeah, for sure. And, and how soon can they eat? They can eat that evening. They have to be careful. Though. We tell them to eat soft foods that evening, but they can eat a normal meal with softer foods. By the next day, they can eat anything they want. When can they rip and tear into a steak? Within a week. Is that right? Yep. And a carrot or whatever? Yeah, whatever they want You don't eat. tell them to be careful with carrots? Not at all. A thick set of teeth. Yep. Is that right? Okay, well, listen, we're out of time. Great information. Okay, consultations, if they want to go in. Free consultations? Absolutely. Please call us for a free Is consultation. Right? Yeah. And we will, uh, we'll take the necessary x-rays for you. We'll do the consultation. There won't be any charge, no obligation. And um, I love that part of it because we get the patients in there and we get to show them what we can do for them. And it's so exciting when they, when they say, I want to do it. It, it makes, makes my heart beat faster when I, when, I, when I can get a patient to accept a treatment that I know is going to change their life. On the consult, do you ever get excited? Like they're telling you their hard luck story and you're going, boy, this is going to be good when it's all over. <laughs> sure, absolutely. And the best part about it is when they come back and they give you a hug. You know, I don't know if we have time, but I'll tell you one other quick story about a, a young boy who was 22 years old, same age as your son, who had multiple congenitally missing teeth. He was myth missing about six teeth in his mouth and his, his family didn't have much money. He never got to the orthodontist or a dentist to have these teeth replaced. And so he came to me and he said, Doc, I've saved up $5,000. Now, that wasn't enough to do his procedure the, the way I wanted to do it. It was about a $12,000 procedure. But I talked to him and I felt for this kid and I took care of him for the $5,000. And, and he, he said to me, what, what got me to do this procedure, he said to me, I've never had a date with a girl because I'm embarrassed to smile. And I felt so bad for this young boy that I wanted to help him. And you know, sometimes you have to give back to your community and give back to people. And so, so when it was all done? It was all done and he couldn't believe it. And he came in three months later with his girlfriend and he brought her to my <laughs> practice. And, That's a great and, story. And a year later they were engaged to get married. That's a and nice story. He had story. been wanting to ask that girl on a date for, for like two years and he never had the courage to do it. So um, have faith out there. You can change the way you live your life. You can change your smile and and mini implants can do it for you. Good. Thank you. Excellent stuff. We're out of time. It's a really, pleasure. Really, really good. You're watching the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching the Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.